Today, the president of the Valencian regional government, Chimo Puig, visited the Port of Valencia and was taken on a comprehensive tour of its facilities. Puig was accompanied by the Valencian regional minister for sustainable economy, Rafael Clement. They were welcomed at the clock tower building by the chairman of the Port Authority of Valencia, Aurelio Martinez, members of the institution's board of directors, and by the organization's management. Chimo Puig was informed by the managers of Noatom, one of the Mediterranean's leading container terminals, of the company's plans to further strengthen its position, thus enabling it to cater for mega vessels 400 meters long and 60 meters wide, ships which are the size of four football fields end to end. In this way, they will be able to handle four million containers per year and double current capacity. The size and strength of the Port of Valencia is extremely important because it reflects the fortitude of Valencian society and its capacity for growth. The latest figures are highly positive. We are the leading container port and we also aim to grow in terms of cruise traffic and all aspects related to economic activity. The delegation subsequently visited Valencia Terminal Europa, which is used to handle Fiat and Ford vehicles. At the facility, managers from Ford and Grimaldi explained their short and medium-term investment projects to the Valencian Regional Government President, which involved tripling the loading and unloading capacity of their respective terminals. The President, Chimo Puig, and the Regional Minister for the Economy, Rafael Clement, were also shown the Port of Valencia's Future Logistics Activity Area, or ZAL, and the location of the future new cruise terminal, which will house a modular building that can cater for over 4,000 passengers and can be extended if necessary. Both Chimo Puig and the chairman of the Port Authority, Aurelio Martinez, agreed on the need for continued injections of funds in the port to make up for the shortfall in investment over the last few years. They also highlighted the importance of bringing the Mediterranean corridor into service as quickly as possible to provide modern 21st century rail connections that link Valencia and Segunto to Saragossa and the Cantabrian corridor. The major issue is connectivity. We have to provide value-for-money services in our hinterland. This means offering the lowest costs and the most competitive logistics. To achieve this, we need to improve all the existing logistics infrastructures. When we refer to the Mediterranean corridor, we're talking about the Port of Valencia. When we refer to connectivity with the logistics hub in Zaragoza, we are talking about the port of Valencia. And when we refer to the northern access to Valencia, we are also talking about its port. And this is why we're looking into new funding channels. The visit ended at the historic clock tower building where Chimo Puch signed the Port of Valencia's guest book. 